Hey, it's Necktie. Welcome to episode 64 of my No GPS series. And in this one, we're going to start out by taking a milling machine to Olympia, Washington. Let's get into it. We left off with the CMA CGA parked right here. I need to come out of here. We're going to backtrack and I need to pay attention for the I-5 South. So at some point here, I don't know where, we're taking a right or this comes across over here. No idea. Your guess is as good as mine. I guess I'll find out when I get there. And then we're taking I-5 South. We are going to pass the 405 exit. And we have a way station. We're going to pass the Tacoma exit. But we should discover that. More to follow on that. Because if there's not a load coming out of here, or even if there is, I may just deadhead over here to pick something up. I don't know. We will see. So we're passing the Tacoma exit, and we're going to take the first Olympia exit because it appears there's more than one. So basically, after Tacoma exit, we're taking the first exit. And then at the traffic circle, hang a right, hang a left at the purchasable garage. And then once I get there, I need to remember to sleep because I got excited at the end of the last episode and completely forgot. So this is a semi Night run early evening because it's 8.39 in-game. Oh, oddly enough, it's 8.12 at night as I'm recording this. I didn't even plan that. All right, shut up time. Let's go. Was it raining at the end of the last step? I don't even remember. And if you are just joining me, welcome. Damn glad you found the channel. Hope you hit that subscribe button. That is our weight. 97,000 pound milling machine. And is that oversized? Yeah, it does hang over on the... All right, good to know. We will turn our lights on then and get our blinky blinks going. And now we need to figure out how the hell to get out of here. Reset the odometer. I don't know if this main thoroughfare is a one way or not. I don't see any arrows. So we're going to go left. Um, I think we're actually supposed to go down that right there. These are railroad tracks. Yeah, that I shouldn't be on. Although that trailer's that way, so I'm gonna hit that trailer. I just got myself in a hell of a mess. Alright, well I think we're committed at this point, so I'm just going to stay in this view so I can get the hell out of here before it pisses me off any more than it already is. And I'd almost like to fly around and figure out how the hell you're actually supposed to get out of here. Because this isn't it. But what confuses me is the arrows are all pointing 
towards us there as if it's a one way but yet that trailer's face the opposite way and I'm not going through that gate I'm taking this bypass the gates open so we're going for it they can chase us down if they're concerned Good lord, could they have... Oh, and this jackass wants to come in. Nice. Wait. Why is he taking up... Is there like a complete different exit to this place? No, that says do not enter, so this is an exit. Okay, hold on, folks, because I am thoroughly confused at this moment. So we were there. And typically, well, not typically, I have yet to deliver to a port where you don't enter and exit in the same damn spot. Yeah, there's no place you're getting out of here. Oh, right here. Well, wait a minute, how the hell did he even get over here? So you're supposed to follow that all the way around through this one, through this one. And then out. So then why don't they have a why don't they have a do not exit, right? Because you don't have two lanes of traffic here, or do you? No, they're both inbound cuz that says wrong way. Okay. Well then, you know what we're going to do? We're just going to go right back to where I started. Which, which one of these was it in? I guess it really doesn't matter. Holy shit. I thought this was going to be a quick episode, and here we are. Now, I will tell you that part of my frustration right now is because having been at ports before, just like there's arrows pointing us here, there is arrows or whatnot that is showing you an exit. And there isn't a damn thing here. Okay, so this is a two way. I'm still not confident that that's the way out. I have never... Although, I've never been to the Seattle port, so maybe that's what it's like. I don't know.
time to get scanned. Alright, now we're... You know what's funny? Is the texture on those reefer units. Like, it... Sorry, that reminded me when I was doing live streams in ETS. Same, same thing. Sorry, sidetracked. All right, focus, Ty. You need to get the hell out of this port. I just need I-5 South. That's what son I'm looking for. This girl's heavy. Looks like it's gonna run right into the the bank. Where the hell did he come out of? I don't know. I'm confused. Two five. Wow, that couldn't have been any more at the last moment. Good news is the dryer part showed up this afternoon and it took me about 20 minutes to get the dryer back working so so that's the exit for SeaTac whatever that's the 405 okay then the way station so this guy can get on. Awesome. Oh, and the things I was talking about that we picked up in Redmond, Washington were called Genie Lifts, G-E-N-I-E. -E. And if I remember, there will be a picture that pops up on the screen right about now. Alright, any guesses? 138. Oh. 139623. Not too bad.
parts of Tacoma. Not this time. So now we want the next exit. And I have to remember to sleep. highway speed and then have to back her down again just to exit as our sign is right up there to take all right I remember this little curve to the left and that's gonna be right after curve to the right. Could have, I thought I need to look. Oh, traffic circle's down there. All right. Why did I think the traffic circle was right when we came off the interstate? I'm surprised I didn't notice that sign when I looked to the right. Of course, I didn't look and stare, so. Now we need the first exit. I don't know why I turned my blinker on, I guess. Just have it. Olympia discovered. There's the garage. I don't need to take a left. It's a it's a bender. No. Watch there be cars behind me now. No. So this is the left. Blow it out your ass. UPS is going to ship this milling machine. Anybody have any guesses? Is it going to give it to me? Yes. Alright, now watch this. Brakes are pulled, right? Lights are off. Beacons are off. Truck is still running. I figured it out. It's a console command that will allow you to leave your truck running while you unload. All right, focus, Ty. We have Olympia gone. That is number 98. Awesome. Now... Unfortunately, I need to sleep, so I can't do current company job offers and possibly get reloaded right here. It is 8.32, so that would be 6, we'll just go 0, 07. 
I don't want the freight market. Dummy. You want the cargo market. Holy crap. Olympia, is there something back to Tacoma? Yes. Coming out of Metal West. So we have to go to Metal West to pick up a pump skid going to Exxon Mobil. Set GPS. Alright, then let's bring up our map. Oh, okay. I mean, there's a high probability I still get lost. However, we're just coming right back out of here past the headquarters at the traffic circle. We're going to take the first exit again, and there's going to be a Metal West. I think I can handle that. I don't know, though. The way this has been going. take up all this so I don't take out that guard shack as I come out of here. Okay, so now we have AI rush hour. truck. I tell you, man, I don't know which is dumber, AI traffic or actual people. Because that's some stupid shit an actual person would do, too. Going around a traffic circle and just come to a complete damn stop, because I've seen them do it. truck service. Metal West. We are here to pick up our pump skid, folks. And this car is going to honk at me because I'm blocking the road. And that car can also kiss my ass. Sweet. You know what it really sucked? Is if when I got over here that the load was gone because I didn't get over here quick enough. Alright, now we need to go figure out where the hell to pick it up and am I going to hit the... I'll get, I'll paint the fender, son of a bitch, man. Okay, game. Are you freaking kidding me? Man, I gotta be honest with you. I thought I was gonna have like three loads done this episode in between trying to get out of the damn port and now I'm gonna have to fight blindside in this damn thing. That's another bug I wish SCS would fix, but, you know. I guess releasing shitty paint schemes for people to pay for is more important. Because apparently people buy them, so. Why fix a, uh... Feature of the game that's broken. And for those that don't know, could you hit your right damn camera tie? Um, 
it's even in the options. You don't even have to have the dev console about the auto up and down of your axles like that. And I have mine off, but it doesn't matter. It'll still automatically put them down when you get loaded. And it's been broken for quite some time. And Okay, I feel like I'm going to hit something, so I need to take the one that's going to do the least damage. And I missed it all. Look at me go. It's not over yet, though. And in true fashion, the trailer's just going to keep on turning because I couldn't get back under it. I don't know how I didn't notice this. I just made... Now I'm even pissed at myself. I could have looped around and came in between that trailer and I wouldn't have had to do all this blindside backing. Oh well, too late now. That's how you do it though if you uh, are a dumbass like me and didn't realize that you could have got in between that trailer and that over there to the left. I don't want to jinx myself, but this should be fairly self-explanatory. We're going to come straight out of here. I'm I'm not even looking to the right yet. I know we're going to Tacoma. So we should come out of here, hit the traffic circle, get on I-5, and then we're going to take our first exit and hang a left at the ramp. Okay. If I can't do that, this is going to be the last episode. Fair warning. Some of you are probably clapping right now. <laughs> and that's fine. I don't, I don't blame you. I mean, hey, I did say even in the Road to 5 Million series that I named this company well, Shit Show Logistics. What are you doing? Now, as I was speaking about the... Here's the load weight, okay? 131,000 pounds. The other problem is I... Is this an SCS or is this Ironworks? No, I, okay, this may be correct because it's Ironworks. That's not an SCS load. But for that kind of weight, I would put the axle down anyway, right? But I want to have that option. That's all I'm saying. Okay, stop hitting the wrong freaking key, jackass. that pivot a little better. And we're still gonna... Okay, so am I hitting that or that? Yeah, okay, fine. I'm beginning to think that I should have just uh, 
stop the episode when I had problems getting out of the port and just resetting because holy crap, this episode has gone downhill from there. Exit. Don't want that. Well, probably don't need to be going that damn fast through there either. Good thing I chained that down well. Now we're going to go through this light. Next one should be a left on to I 5 north. I am honestly looking to get the hell out of Washington State. I'm surprised I didn't get a ticket as far over the line as I am. I'm not complaining though. Just surprised. to the red light. I do. damn exit. Son of a... How the hell, Ty, could you pull your head out of your ass? Okay, so I was right. I wanted the port of Tacoma because that goes this way. So now I need to go all the way down here to the Peterbilt or somewhere and turn around. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Are there any cars coming? I don't need to be in six high. I'm going to do this number, because this is probably what I'd actually do in real life, too. I'd be like, oh, there's nobody coming. Let me just do this. And that's, again, I'll own up to that. I wasn't even paying attention to the two different exits, but again... I should know better to take shit for granted in this game, especially not using a GPS. And 
Exxon was down here somewhere. Over there to the left looks like an Exxon prefab. to the right. What am I? Okay, I guess the trailer was just low. I don't see anything flashing over there. Yes, I do right there. Oh. Okay, well, I'm not going to complain because this is a plausible unload spot. Because more than likely they'd have to call in a crane to get it off. And I won't complain after the episode I've had. Holy crap. Well, nobody can say there's a lack of entertainment on this channel, can you? I seem to, I think I know what my issue is of late with my, I think I changed a setting in the Moza pit house for my wheel because, man, it turns hard when you don't have a lot of speed. Almost like there's no power steering in a way is kind of what it feels like. So I can't get back under the trailer quick enough. Or it could just be I'm an idiot. It's plausible. How many miles did I go this episode? Like, that was 31. What was the other one? Like, four, like I didn't even go 100 miles, and holy crap. That was the longest 100 miles. Alright, so set your brakes. We'll shut the truck off on this one, because we are staying here. Well, not staying here, we're gonna check loads is kind of what I meant. Tacoma is gone. 99. Niner. Niner. Okay, now let's see what's coming out of here. Aberdeen. Wow, so there's nothing in Tacoma going to Aberdeen. How about Olympia? And now I am wishing I would have taken that Aberdeen load. Okay, there's... There's that in Olympia going to Aberdeen. And there's that in Olympia going to Aberdeen. That expires in seven minutes, so I'll never make it there in seven minutes. That's three hours and two minutes. See, and we're all the way over here. All right, I know you guys are tired of looking at this shit about as much as I am, so we will call it there. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, episode 64 comes to an end. Thank goodness. Holy shit. If you made it this far, I appreciate you. And until the next one, y'all take care. Bye.